Hello my friends! Welcome to my channel, Discover with Kim. I am Kim and I'm so excited you're here with me today. Welcome to another wellness vlog and happy November 1st! Now I know this vlog is going to go live in a few days on the 4th, but today is November 1st, which means I am going through my monthly reset and I figured I'd bring you guys along with me. Now at the beginning of every single month, I go through a few of the same habits to help set myself up for the month and get myself feeling prepared and planned out. I also throw in some extra little tasks each month just depending on the month and on what I need to do. So I figured I'd take you guys along with me, show you how I'm getting all reset for the month of November, how I'm getting prepped for the chillier weather, this month full of thankfulness and gratitude, and getting ready for the holiday season. I'm so happy you guys are here with me today and I'm so excited to reset. So let's get right into it. Okay, so first thing is first, I need to kind of get myself together. I feel like I'm a little bit of a hot mess right now. I don't really know where to start. So I'm going to start off by making a to-do list for today and then I'm going to go from there. So let's go figure out what we need to do to get all reset and ready for November. So I have written out my to-do list and it looks like I have a few different groups of things that I need to do. I need to do some financials, some planning, some goals, so a lot of writing things down, analyzing things, planning things out. So that is one grouping of things. And then I need to do a few things that are more businessy, more work related, so those I can group together again. And then finally I have a few things that are a lot of movement, a lot of organizing, going through stuff, undecorating, decorating, that kind of stuff. So I can group all of that stuff together. So basically I need to figure out what I want to tackle first and then kind of jump right into it and go for it. So that is the plan. Okay, so I've decided to start with some of the easier stuff, some of the stuff that's sitting down and that I feel like is kind of important to dictate the rest of the items I have to do. So first things first, we are going to do financials. So what that means for me is I have my little financial book and then all I do is I'm going to go through October and do my financials from October, see how much I spent, check that kind of stuff, and then write out my November. So my bills, when they come out, expected spending, that kind of stuff. So that is my first plan is financials to finish up October and start November. And yes, I had to put a cardigan on because it's too cold today. I didn't even show you guys. Oh my gosh. So I woke up in the middle of the night, right? And like the weather said, we might have our first snow. They failed to say it would be a bunch of snow. Look at all that snow. Look at that all. The cars were completely covered this morning, like by three inches. So I guess the uh, weather knows. It is officially November holiday season and... Halloween slash fall time is apparently over here. Alright friends, well today is just not my day, so I went to do my financials for November. So October I can finish up, I can add everything up, balance everything out, all the fun, you know, all the good stuff. But I went to do November and it turns out I've already used November in this book. So this book is officially done and I already did November. So like I can't redo November, it's already written in there in pen. So uh, I don't have a new budget book kind of sucks. It's pretty cute too. But anyways, so yeah, so that kind of sucks. I went to do my budget for November and I can't because it is full. And then 
the very, very sad thing. I went to play music while I did all my stuff, you know, get the vibes going, and, uh, look at my iPod. Like, I know, iPods are <laughs> not popular anymore, but look at it. It is absolutely just falling apart. Button fell out. It's just falling apart. And I'm so sad because I have so much music on here. And Apple doesn't make iPods anymore. <laughs> the vibes. The music. Just like one thing after another. And it's just like... Oh. <sighs> this is why we do resets. Because stuff like this happens. And then you feel like... I feel like I need to reset. But... I just feel like the universe is just laughing at me a little bit. Like, here's a bunch of snow and cold. I like the snow, but who it's cold. Your budget book is full. Your iPod's falling apart. Like, like how does that even happen? I didn't even do anything to it, and it just... Boop. So yeah, that is that. So, that's life, though. Life is nothing but having to adapt. You can control the controllable. Everything else, you just adapt as it comes. So iPod, my partner's gonna look at tonight, fingers crossed, figure something out, and then my budget book, I'm just gonna have to either order a new one or just use my own notebook to do it. I might just use my own notebook because I have so many, but that's where we're at. Let's adapt! <laughs>done as you would have seen I just started my own notebook and went from there I didn't really feel like ordering and buying another one either I'd have to run to the store or I'd have to wait a few days to get it and I have all these notebooks I might as well just use one that I have so I got my financials all done for November and now I'm going to write out my goals for November so I will just tell you a few of them I'm not going to tell you all of them but a couple of them are I want to really fully embody my wellness living I feel like I've been amping up it for a while now but I am ready to fully step into that version of myself focus my lifestyle around wellness and well-being and really just taking care of myself and in line with that a second goal is I really want to figure out who Kim is and start to embody that start to really show up as the highest version of myself every single day and in a way that feels good and feels like I'm being true to myself so those are two of my goals and then one that's completely different, I'll share one of those, is I just want to continue to clear out more stuff. Um, that means in my head, mentally, that also means physical stuff, stuff that I own. I own so much stuff and I'm ready to continue to get rid of it and really own things that I love and that make me feel good inside. Those are a few of my goals for November. I'm going to, honestly that's pretty much all the lifestyle planning and goals that I need to do right now for November. I'm not feeling too inspired, but that is what I am feeling right now for that. I'm going to write out my to-do list. So basically, I'm going to just take all the to-dos I have and write them out in a big list so that I can get them done throughout the month. And I like to divide them into tasks, so things that take shorter amount of time or are a one and done. So maybe it takes an hour to do it, but I put in that hour and then it's fully complete. And then I also split them into projects, which are bigger items items that I may have to work on for a while so I might work on it for a bit but I have so many different steps to it that it's like you work on step one for an hour and then a few days later you work on step two or you continue to work on step one so they're more projects things that are going to take some time and take more energy and that kind of stuff so I'm going to write out all of my to-dos and my projects. I have some left over from October that I'm going to add to the top of the list and then I have a bunch of things like saved in my phone and saved in my brain that I'm going to brain dump it all down so that I have a full list and then that way I can see what I want to try to get done in the month of November and what maybe isn't so important anymore. I can either wait or I can just completely disregard it for now and worry about it in the future or perhaps never. So that is the plan. I apologize if you can hear a bunch of noises. I have a heater going, the washer and dryer are going, and of course my housemates are here, but that is life. But anyways, we are going to work on the to-do list, and then after that we're going to 
plan out my business and social plans for November. So that is the plan. We are going to continue to chuck along through this planning and organization. So we're going to get to it instead of wasting more time. So now it's time to take a break and make lunch. with you. I had big plans to sort through my inventory of my online thrift store and big plans to tidy up but I'm way too tired to do that. I am burnt out and I just don't have the energy in me to do that today but that is something I plan on doing as part of my as part of my monthly reset. So if I get it done tomorrow I will record it and throw it into this vlog otherwise just know that that's something that I'm doing. 
going forward, I'm going to try really, really hard this month to commit to my wellness and living a wellness lifestyle, so wellness living. I'm very excited for this and I'm really excited to continue to delve into myself as a person and who I want to be moving forward. I have a lot of big plans for myself coming up and I'm really going to be working hard to build my discipline and honestly just become a better version of Kim. That's kind of a theme of my channel, discovering yourself, embracing authentic you, becoming your highest most ideal self and that is something I am going to continue to work on. I feel I'm slowly been peeling away layers of it, finding new chapters of myself and I'm just excited to keep that going because something inside me is telling me that there are some really big things coming my way and I'm excited for them. I do plan to bring you guys along with me for this. You know I love to make my wellness vlogs and I'm excited to continue to make them every single week for you so make sure you guys check back every single Saturday as that's when I post them live. I would love to connect more about wellness and your wellness journey so let's chat it up in the comments below. Do hit subscribe and that like button because I am working to grow my channel and continue to get better at making content and sharing more content, sharing more of myself as well. So thank you guys so much for being here for my monthly reset this month. Thank you for watching this video. I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Have a fabulous week, be well, and go discover friends. Bye!